Hi, Christine Coe here, Global Marketing Director for our H HCIS product. Um, I'm here day three of ECR Vienna, Austria with Brian Casey of Ammini.com. Um, you know, this is, out of all these years I've been in healthcare IT, this is my first ECR. Um, you know, and I often compare now, through all these three days I've compared to Arsene. What are your some impressions in terms of ECR versus, say, Arsene? Okay. Well, it, it's great that you've been able to come. This is a really great show. I've been coming here for a number of years now. And, you know, the one thing that, that I'm taking away from this particular ECR is the energy level here. Uh, the energy is really high. Uh, the, it's kind of hard to compare the, the exhibit halls because the, the, the arrangement is so different. But um, you know, the vendors that I've been talking to have been very pleased with the traffic here. Right. Um, there's been a lot of energy, a, a lot of traffic, and uh, and a lot of excitement. You know, contrast that with the RSNA, which you know this year or in, in 2013 seemed a little bit stagnant, a little bit slower. Right. So. Um, it, it really seems like over here in Europe, there's, there's really a lot, a lot of energy that's coming out in the meeting. Absolutely, and we've certainly seen that in our CareStream booth as well. You know, and, and looking at you know some of the global trends, you know, because Amini has many different regional representations. Um, what are some of the things that you think ECR is really leading for European Congress uh, versus some of the other trends that you're seeing in other regions? Okay, um, well, there's a couple areas that are really prominent at this particular meeting. One of them is is um, Healthcare IT. Um, Europe has been ha has had more integrated healthcare delivery systems than the U.S. has right. uh, for a number of years now, and so I think that they're they're a, they've been a little bit ahead of the game in terms of being able to um, integrate healthcare enterprises, you know, deliver IT across a really broad range of, of uh, networks. Whereas in the U.S., we're still kind of trying to you know, get up to that level. So Absolutely. that's something that I've, I've seen a lot of here. Yeah, that certainly is um, consistent with a lot of our uh, customer tenders that we're seeing now uh, coming out of Europe. You know, a lot of next generation image management requirements using standards such as IHE and non-DICOM, for example. Okay. So yeah, we definitely see a lot more of that here in yeah. Europe. But um, you know, what are some of the things you think ECR or European Congress can maybe perhaps learn from other regions? Uh, you were just at Arab Health as well, and yeah. RSNA. What are some of the things you, well, you the, think we could learn there? The, the, the other thing that's really uh, been very prominent at this meeting has been the radiation dose issue. And at this meeting, I uh, saw the launch of the, uh, the, the EuroSafe campaign to make people more aware of radiation dose and, and to track radiation dose better and report radiation dose better. And it's a little interesting because for a long time, Europe was, was ahead of the U.S. in terms of dose awareness. Mm -hmm. And what happened in the U.S. was you know, some, some pretty scary radiation uh, exposure accidents and a couple of papers published about the, the effect of radiation right. dose. And so the U.S., um, I, I think for a little while, kind of moved into the lead in terms of dose awareness. Right. And at this meeting, it looks like Europe is is kind of getting back on track a little bit, moving up to the level of the U.S. And the thing that's really good is there's been a lot of um, exchange back and forth between the U.S., between the Europeans. Absolutely, yeah. Um, that's happening not only in radiation dose, but also in terms of things like uh, tracking appropriate utilization. Oh, Making okay. sure that, that exams are ordered appropriately, um, moving over some things like the ACR Select over to Europe. So, you know, that's another oh, really great. positive area that, uh, you know, both sides are working together on it. So it's nice, it's kind of a, the, the world is shrinking a little bit. Yeah, and, absolutely. And it's, it's for a good models. thing. Yeah, absolutely, for a good thing. For a good thing. Yeah. Um, any um, other thoughts on ECR as we kind of close out the third day here? Yeah, um, it, this is a great meeting. Uh, it's, it's getting more and more prominent as the years go on, and if, if anyone has has not come to this show, I you know really would urge people to you know hop on a plane next time, get Absolutely. to Vienna in March, and, yeah. and the weather is this week has been wonderful. And the I no complaints restaurant here. Restaurant culture is great, so you know yeah. come on out. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Brian. Appreciate you stopping by. Sure. And that's it for day three ECR.